You remember in 2022, in April 4th, two things happened. We increased the rates, um, went from 9% to 10%, and we increased the phase three of the contribution reform, being the 520 wage ban. Okay, and of course, um, there were some compliance strategies. The, the um, compliance rate increased, given, so 2022 for, that, for April, the December $143 million in contributions revenue, followed by investment income. I will just state that number here. I will come back to that figure um, at the end of the presentation when we get into some of the investments. Other income of 2.4, the main driver for that number is really your, um, the $26 that you pay for your new, new social security cards and obviously renewals. And to a lesser, lesser amount, the assessments or interest on assessments makes that up. For a grand total of $163.7 million in terms of revenue. Now, the, one of the reasons, as Letty had mentioned in her presentations, we exist to pay the benefits. I am pleased to say, to counter the first one about not giving back, 2022 became the first year that the fund hit $100 million in benefits, okay? Primarily driven by, you see, the short term, the long term in terms of retirement, branch survivors invalidity, and the list is there. But $108 million is what we paid out in 2022 alone um, to beneficiaries, short-term pensioners, okay, which like I said, we have, we have never hit that number, and so that is something to celebrate. 